Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I'm Pastor Joe Fox. You know, there's been this theory in survivalist circles forever that um, when the event happens, the, pe the people are going to come streaming out of the hopeless, you know, unsustainable cities, and they're going to come up here into the hills and the mountains uh, where those of us who had the foresight to get out have established our little survival retreats, and therefore, you know, the survivalists are going to have to contend with the starving hordes, right? You know, the refugees coming. And I've never, uh, I've never believed that. And recently I read an article of another guy who doesn't believe that. His name is Tim Gamble. He's at timgamble.com. He has a blog. I've only read the one article on his blog, but I kind of looked at the titles of the other one. It looked like it might be a good blog. If you leave a comment there, tell him I sent you, please. I don't know the guy. But anyway, that, that kind of spurred this video. And so, think about this. I, uh, I consulted for a while, and I guess I still could, I just haven't done it for a while, security consultant. And I would go talk to people and look at their place and, or their area or their personal details, and then I would give them advice on security. And I had this one woman hire me. She was a retired army officer, uh, elderly, not quite elderly. She was you know, probably as old as I am now, um, getting up there uh, on her own. And so I go and I do a security survey and we're talking and then she kind of does one of these. You know what I'm really worried about? And I'm like, no, what? And she told me she was worried about the gangbangers coming out of uh, Kansas City and, you know, doing bad things to her and her house. This woman lived like a half mile down a gravel road, right? And I explained to her, and, and this is important, that criminals typically prey on those of their own socioeconomic class. And I explained to her that she did not need to worry about a lowered Caprice Classic, you know, with six uh, gangbangers in it. What she needed to worry about was a pickup truck and a couple four-wheelers run by Bubba and his gang who were going to be going crazy uh, when there was no more rule of law. You know, people who grow up on asphalt and concrete don't feel real comfortable walking down gravel roads. People who grow up on gravel roads don't feel real comfortable walking down inner city streets. It's just the way things are. Um, but there's bad people everywhere, and there's good people everywhere. And that's going to apply um, when the event happens. You know, all these people who live in the city, they are used to... Um, city services. I'm not saying that they necessarily want free handouts or anything like that, um, but they're used to city services, and, and they're used to when there's a problem, uh, you call, you know, the government, right? You know, the, the utilities are government, um, basically. And you say, hey, my power's out, my water's out, the main line broke, this happened, that happened. Uh, when there are disasters like Katrina, and Tim Gamble talks about this a little bit, um, you know, the government mobilizes and brings help. I think a lot of people are going to end up staying in those cities um, and not coming out here because they wouldn't know what to do with that. Excuse me, with that. Um, <laughs> it would just blow their, their little minds, you know. Oh my God, there's rocks and trees and mud and snakes and bugs, oh my. Um, and so that's one thing. Another thing is that, you know, we live up in the mountains, right? I don't know if you can see that back there. Now, those of you who live out west in real mountains would go, <coughs> <laughs> those aren't mountains, Pastor Joe. I know, actually it's a plateau, right, the Ozarks, but they're steep hills, right? You know, a thousand plus feet. And uh, the major cities around here, and you know, as far as people walking out of cities and, and within walking distance here, and that's my walking distance, not the average city dweller. There's probably three or four. And uh, they're all kind of in lowlands to speak of. And so to get here, they would, they would walk, start in the lowland, and then they would walk through the roads which kind of go through valleys. And then they would have to decide at some point, huh, let's climb that mountain. Maybe there's something up there. It's not going to happen. They'll be streaming down the main roads, staying flat whenever there's a steep place. They'll divert, just like lost children, and take the path of least resistance. And so if you're on one of those roads in your little farmette, you know, right up against the four-lane highway, yeah, you could have visitors. But out here, 
they're not coming out here. Those, uh, those hordes of starving refugees are not going to come out here. Not in any kind of numbers. Now, there could be potentially problems in a grid down world without rule of law, rural, how do you pronounce that even, a Tiawaki situation. And that's from the people who live out here um, who aren't squared away and set up. You know, I have neighbors, if you want to call it that, in, in this area, who have herds of cattle, you know, from my one neighbor, Rick, who I did a video of, I think he has like eight head of cattle. I've got another neighbor with about 20. I've got a, a neighbor, you know, yonder that probably has 120. Um, they're going to eat. <laughs> you know, they're not, they're not going to come here looking to steal a goat, <laughs> right? Um, but then there's people, you know, within a mile of here, I, I got families who... They're not prepared for anything. This is like their little country house. They get away from everything, but they live in town. Walmart executives, that kind of thing. I mean, they work in town. Um, they got nothing, you know. And so people like that could potentially be a problem. But as far as the masses of people streaming out of the cities out here, not going to happen. And so where does that leave you? If you're still in those population centers, if you're still in those urban areas... Man, you need to get a plan. You need to make a plan and get out, whether that's buying a piece of land, you know, by yourself or with some people or making a deal with Aunt Molly, you know, or something to just get out, pre-position some supplies at the place. I encourage you, I encourage you to set up an alternate location other than a place surrounded by people who have basically nothing and uh, are going to want something when the grid goes down. Think about it. And if you live out here, good for you. All right. Maybe I'll see you out there.